Hi everyone, close you all are doing well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add Prettier to our project. Right, I will leave a link for you guys in the description. So all you have to do is just go to the description and you will see a link to the documentation. So if you're going to go and read more about it, you can come and do it here. All the customization that you can add to your Prettier for your projects. All right, so let's install it. Right, so open up your terminal to install Prettier. All we have to do is npm install and there's the save. And I just want to say dev and I'm just going to add Prettier like this. Okay, so now install Prettier to our project. So see you after this. Right, so that was quite quick. All right, so the next thing that we have to do, so once we finish installing it, so as you can see, if we go to our package.json right here, you'll see Prettier is installed right there as a dev dependency. As you can see, Axios and SWR and Tailwind as well. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do now is we need to create our file for our Prettier. So just create a new file, and we're going to call this one dot .prettier rc.json. Right, so now this file is responsible for the type of formatting that you're going to do for your code. So if you want to use semicolons, you can use it. If you don't want to, you just set it to true, the tab sizes, all that kind of stuff. So let's start off with the first one is we're going to add the semic, the single quote right here. By default, I'm going to set mine to true. Okay, so if you want to just use single quotes, okay or you can set it to false and this will use double quotes okay so let me just actually set it to false the next one is we need to do a semi now semi on the other hand is let's just quickly go into our pages folder right here in javascript you can either add semis to finish it off like this or you can leave it it will not affect the code but it is just down to preference styling wise okay so it will not influence the code so that is totally up to you. The next one is called tab width. Okay, so tab width by default it's set to two. So if we go to our package.json right here, as you can see, this space right here is two by default. The one that I have here, my and my code editor is by default four. So I want to kind of keep that same style. So I'm just going to set it to four right there. Okay, so that's all done. So you can obviously add a lot more. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description, like I said before. So just kind of style all the different things that you need for your application. Okay, so let me just close this off. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our package.json. So in you go down here, click on your package.json right here because we want to basically add a couple of scripts. Right, so as you can see, the scripts right here is the dev scripts. So if I go in here, npm run dev, it will run this one right here. npm run build, so this one, start, lint, and etc. So I'm just going to create my own one called format. Okay. You can obviously change this to be whatever you want. You can say prettier and prettier fixed. Totally up to you. Okay. That's the first part. Now the second part is we're going to call on prettier and we want to just run the check like this okay to just to check the format of all our files on what we have set it to be in our json file right here but i want to ignore a part so if we go to our git ignore the node modules i don't want you to check this file i don't want to check it dot pnp coverage or whatever files right here dot next which is going to appear as soon as we run npm run dev I don't want them to actually format any of these files. I just want them to ignore, prettier to ignore this file. So all we do is ignore. Okay, so ignore path like this. And then we're just going to add the dot git. Okay, ignore, spell it right. So git ignore is this file right here. So anything in there, please ignore anything in that path right there. Okay, awesome. Now, the next thing is, this is just to check if there's anything wrong. Okay, so if there are, we're going to run this one. So, format, fix. Okay, then we're just going to go into call pretty again. And then instead of check, we do write. And we're just going to say ignore path again. And it's going to be the git ignore. Good. 
right? Just add the dot at the end there as well. Right, this is totally up to you how you want to name this. If I do dead prettier like this, it will still work. That's just the name of the basically the script that if I'm calling it right here, so npm run prettier like this, it will run this one right here as well. So totally, totally up to you how you want to name it. Right, so what I want to do since I changed it to format, I'm just going to type in format like that. Right, then just press enter. Right, so as you can see, it will go through and it will just look at all these different files right here and it will say, okay, the coding style issues is found according to what we have specified in here. Okay, so now in order to fix that, all we have to do, let me just clear this. All we have to do now is we can just say npm run format. Okay, so if I do that, it will basically change all those files to be correct. So as you can see, if we go back now to our package.json, you can see it added the tab with instead of two, it added four right there. Totally, totally up to you how you want to style it, but I just wanted to show you that example right there. Okay, so if we go to our pages.index right there, as you can see, it added all the semicolons at the end right there. Okay, even in our app.js, it added right there, according to our prettier.json style right here. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. I'll gladly respond to that and do all the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next one where we're going to set up Axios. So see you there. Adios.